Hi, my name is Tatum and I'm an analytics engineer at Seek. In this video, we will look at an overview of Seek Workbench and its key features. We will look at workbench analyses and worksheets, as well as application navigation and other basic concepts. Seek Workbench is a browser-based application that can run in browsers including Chrome, Edge, Firefox, and Safari. Once you have logged into Seek, the first thing you'll see is your Seek home page. On the left, our folders, including your folder and shared folders. In the center are items that you've recently opened. This will include workbench analyses, indicated by the green icon, organizer topics, denoted in blue, and data lab projects in orange. For any of these items, you can view the owner, the date the item was created, and when it was last updated. In addition, if you hover over an item, you can pin it to your home screen. This is useful for frequently accessed analyses. You can also preview the worksheets inside of an item by clicking the eye icon, or select the three dots icon to edit the name and description of your project. Duplicate it, manage access controls, move it to another folder, or delete it. On top of your home screen, you can search for your analyses by a variety of filters. The right of the Seek Home screen are helpful links and company links. Company links can be customized by your organization. In the bottom right, by clicking on the megaphone symbol, you can find notifications around what is new on Seek. Below that, you can view connected data sources. And at the bottom left, you can see which version of Seek you are working in. Finally, you can find a short Seek Overview video and a 30-minute Quick Start video on your home screen as well. To access a new Workbench Analysis, navigate to the New button in the top left corner and select Workbench Analysis. Once you are in your Workbench Analysis, you can click the four squares icon in the top left to return to the home screen. In this video, I'll be working in my example Workbench. You can see your worksheets to the far left. Click the plus icon to add a new worksheet, and click on the worksheet name to change it. You can sort and filter worksheets by name as well. If you click on the arrow beneath the worksheet, you have the option to duplicate or trash the sheet. At the top of your workbench, you have the name of the workbench and the name of the worksheet you are currently working in. Click on the names to change them. Here, I will rename this sheet Batch Monitoring. You also have options to undo or redo steps and manage your access control in the top right. Here you can find links to share your analysis with edit, view, and presentation rights. You can also provide a specific user with read, write, and manage rights. If you click your name in the top right, you can edit your profile, control notifications, and log out. By selecting the hamburger icon to the far right, you can enter full screen, view your logs, and more. To view data, navigate to the Data tab. Type in the name of your signal and search. You will see all related items listed. You can filter your search further under the Advanced options. Beneath your search are asset groups which you can create directly in Workbench. Below asset groups are recently accessed items, and below that are asset trees if you have any. Here I will go into the example data to drop a signal in our display pane by clicking on the signal of interest. Under the Tools tab are a variety of point-and-click tools to support your analytics. You can search for tools at the top of this section. Finally, under the Journal tab, you can leave notes about your analysis for yourself or colleagues and link work steps by clicking the green Seek icon. That way, even if you make changes, you can go back to work steps of interest later. You can also format text in your journal. Above the display pane are a variety of view options, including XY plots, tables, and more, as well as additional customization options for your display. In the Details pane, you will see a list of signals and conditions in your display pane. 
Thanks for watching this quick overview of Seek Workbench. For additional information, check out support.seek.com.